Shalom, Brother Kabad back in the GMS lesson, GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's own begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, the honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone. Teach us his truth according to the Bible and rule well. <coughs> I know Shalom, not a sincere argument about the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity. And no shalom to all you sincere followers, believers of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, not just hears of the word, but doers as well, you men, women, and children, hopefully, like shalom. Came across this article in the Daily Dot. <coughs> it says, no time <coughs> for diversity now. <coughs> Excuse me. Army recruitment ad features white paratroopers means war is coming soon. Far right comment commenters say. And uh, it says a new recruitment ad by the U.S. Army has far-right posters on X mark mockingly questioning why it only features white men. <coughs> With some claiming it means war is coming and war is coming. That's what Bible prophecy tells us. All right. Um, Second Ezra 6 and 9 for Esau is the end of the world. <coughs> and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right, by process elimination, Esau is the so-called self-proclaimed white man, woman, and child. And we're living in the time of their uh, rulership coming to an end. All right. We're living in that time. And the way it, it, his rulership was established, through his blessing, is the same way it's going to go out. So let's get that. <coughs> we'll start at 38. Genesis 27 and 38. And Esau said unto his father, has thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even even me also. O oh, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. He was crying like a like a like a you know what. It says, and Isaac, his father. <clears throat> because when you go into the back backdrop of this story, um, um, Jacob received the blessing. All right, his mother. <clears throat> I don't put on garments of what Esau would have on, Harry. And um, supplanted Isaac into giving Jacob the blessing. Because the blessing is supposed to go to the, the eldest, all right, the oldest. Okay. Which was Esau. He came out red. Okay. <clears throat> but it reads on. It says, And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Verse 39. And Isaac, his father, answered and said to him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. <coughs> and by thy sword shall thou live. That's the point I wanted. All right. See, Esau's blessing, the so-called white man, was the sword. And this is what, you know, he would do with it. All right. It says, and, and, and thou shalt serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou have dominion. Had the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off his iron, break the yoke from off his neck, slack here. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing where his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father at hand, then would I slay my brother Jacob. And that has not changed. All right, and you Israelites, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, who go back to the sea line of Jacob, according to your father's side. All right, he's going to show you know, Esau's going to show you this. But the point I want is that the, the Lord said that what Esau was going to live by the sword, which is his blessing. All right. And the same way this place <coughs> was established, they way it's going to go out through war. All right. And this is this is this is this is the average face. All right. Of an Edomite. All right. He's scared. Like he don't want to go to war. All right. And that's the uh, and, you know. They said um, no time for diversity because they want any and everybody on the front lines. All right. For this upcoming World War Three. But guess what? <coughs> Edom is going to. Uh, he's going to lose horribly. All right. Um, this is second Ezra 13. And I started, um, 
I started five. And I thought this I beheld and lo, there was a great, there was gathered together a multitude of men <coughs> out of the four winds of the earth, out of heaven, Salakia, to subdue the man that came out of the sea. See, during this upcoming World War Three, it's prophesied in Revelation, as well as many, <coughs> many other chapters. All right. Revelation 11 and 14, the second war was passed, and behold, the third war come quickly. He's talking about the wars. All right, war means destruction. You had your first world war, which was destruction. You had your second world war, was destruction. And now the third war was coming click quickly. All right? And if you haven't been living on a rock, you can see that these nations <coughs> are already at war <clears throat> amongst one another. So during the time of you know, these nations fighting against each other. The Lord's going to come back. Oh, yeah. Verse 6, it says, But I beheld him, lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. Right, it's talking about the chariot that the Lord's coming back on. What the world even called UFOs. It says, But I would have seen a region or place where out the hill was graven, and I could not. Right, couldn't see where it ended. It was so huge. Now, back here a couple of years ago, NASA had a feed running where this huge chariot, all right, the world calls UFOs, um, was coming towards the Earth, and it was so big, it was bigger than the Earth. <coughs> all right. It says, um, verse 8, 2 Ezra 13 and 8, And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him, were sore afraid, right? They were sore afraid. Look at that face. That's a face of uncertainty, right? A face of 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 of, of fright. Okay, not knowing if they're coming home, and guess what? Those troops ain't coming home. All right, because <coughs> the Lord. As a controversy, he's going to judge you nations in the valley of Jehoshaphat. All right? Which is Yahweh Shapat, which is, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's judgment for you nations, what you have done to the children of Israel. Esau don't care who you are. He just wants you and his, and his, and his army. All right? But guess what? We are supposed to be on the side of who the world calls God and JC, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh as Israelites, man. Especially the men, all right? <clears throat> and this is a spiritual war for us, not carnal. Second Ezra 13. And um, 8, it says, And after this I beheld him low. All they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid, and yet there's fight. <clears throat> and lo, as, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held sword, nor instrument of war. But only I saw that he sent out his mouth as it were, as it had been a blast of fire. And out of his lips a flaming breath. And out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests. <coughs> and that's what the Lord's going to do when he returns. All right. And that's what he's going to do when he returns, man. <coughs> the Lord's going to... Uh, uh, ultimately, the, uh, destroy this place. The daughter of Babylon, aka uh, the good old uh, U.S. of A. All right. So let's grab one last one, wrap it on up. <coughs> um, stay a second, Ezra. See, I want that. Second Ezra 16, I start at the top. <clears throat> Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Girt up yourselves with cloth of sack and hair. Be well your children, and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back, right? Because this is the prophecy of Yahweh Bashamel Shai. All right, and he's not going to pull back his sword. Which is those icy being missiles along with the chariots. A fire is set among you and who may quench it. A plague 
since plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood, or may anyone quench the fire in the stubble when it has begun to burn? Verse 7, may one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. <coughs> the mighty Lord have sent, the mighty Lord sent up the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? That's right, man. And these ICBM missiles, which you, what you uh, hear about being built, okay, once they are let off in the upcoming World War III, so what if some don't believe, all right, they're not going to be able to be turned back. It's not going to be a, a missile defense system that's going to knock them out of the air, man. All right, these missiles are going to be in formation. They're not going to break their ranks. All right. So... You know, just want to touch on this, um, you know, from this article, No Time for Diversity. Yeah, Esau's letting anyone in now because it's the time of war. <coughs> All right. And Esau is that face of war. Okay. That's how he, you know, his blessing was a sword. And he ran around conquering with that sword. Well, guess what? That sword is getting ready to be taken away from him, man. All right. And he's going to be brought down low. Anyways, it's all that happened in that shallow one.